the Most Premature Babies Priority Setting Partnership Survey. Uh, the International Perinatal Research Partnership uh, working with James Lind Allianz on this new project to identify the priorities for research into premature babies born before 25 weeks gestation. They want to make sure that future research addresses the questions that are most important to us, that being the parents, the carers, the adults themselves born extremely prem, and the healthcare professionals that care for them. So earlier this year, an online survey asked those with lived experience and health professionals to share the questions they wanted researchers to answer. All the questions were submitted and gathered, checked against existing evidence, and a list of summary questions was created. Now, this is where you come in. You get to help choose the 10 questions from that list that you would like answered that matter the most to you, helping to determine the top 10 priorities for extremely premature babies. The survey is anonymous and will take you about 15 minutes to complete. So if you're, born, if you're an adult born extremely premature or the parents, family or carer of a baby born extremely premature, please have your voice heard. This is really important. The results will be shared with the International Research Committee and funding bodies to help researchers design and conduct studies into these important questions and, and act as a guide for funding bodies and research institutions to determine what resources should be prioritised. So we had a quick look at the survey and here are the headings of some of the priorities to choose from. I won't read it out, it's kind of all listed there. But yeah, healthcare professionals are also invited to fill in the surveys, um, but we wanna make sure that um, families with lived experience and um, adults born um, premature also have their say too. Survey closes on the 10th of November, so I think it's really easy. It's, it's a really nice way to participate without too much, you know, sort of time. And you can actually have a voice on this one too. So for 15 minutes of, you know, these are your key focus. Um, yeah. yeah, it's, it's a fabulous place. And yeah. the great thing, this is a global collaboration. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, if you've gone through this experience, you know, your, your voice can be heard. And like Nat said, because health professionals are also invited to take part in the survey, we want that balance. You know, we don't want it top heavy with the health professionals and the clinicians. We want to be able to have those with lived experience to have their say. Now, I know that when I jumped on and had a look, so under each of those headings, um, whether it's about respiratory management, feeding and nutrition, all those different topics, there's a selection of different priorities. And you go through and you tick which ones all matter to you and then they get onto, put onto, I guess, the next screen and then you've got to pick your top 10 from that. And when I first did it, I was at 18 and I stared at it for quite a while. I was like, how do I, which eight do I like eliminate? And it's, yeah, trying to find the top 10 was quite tough. And I know that other parents as well saying, oh, well, um, just 10 is very tricky to do, but it does cover and you can have a look at the topics, you know, family centered care and what happens when the baby's born and about parents, their well-being, and, and everything from what happens within the NICU to, to afterwards. So it's, it covers a really, really big comprehensive scope where parents and those with lived experience can actually have, have a mm -hmm. say and, and help look at the topics that we want to have studied. And it's exciting because you can potentially um, influence um, future funding as well for research projects. That's pretty cool. Like, you know, that. So this is the stuff that we've been advocating because we, yeah. we talked quite a long time ago about how parents can be the ones that put their hand up and say, well, what about studying this? And look, you know, fast forward a couple of years, here are the opportunities to do it. It's, it's incredible. Exactly. Um, and really then it might take 15 it might take 15 minutes to go through and then probably another 30 minutes to work out what you what your top 10 are from there <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's so many i'm that's already true. looking at and well yeah which ones <laughs> yeah yeah well if that's the case the survey actually gives you the option to pause and come back later <laughs> so if that does happen and you need time to think about it you can come back look um, digest and come back yeah yeah, yeah. But we hope that a lot of parents will take the time, you know, to, to come on board and, and really have a look and, and to have their say in such a really easy but meaningful way, which is amazing. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it'll be great to see what hap what the outcome is later as well. We'll have to um, report on that. Um, yeah, absolutely. Which ones were picked and um, mm. which ones, yeah, yeah, globally people think are, are the absolute priority when studying um, our earliest and sickest babies.
Yeah. It'd be interesting to see if this, yeah. this happens from a global perspective as well, whether it's the same mm -hmm. trends or whether each country has different priorities. Yeah, yeah. that would be interesting, actually. Yeah, like if there's yeah. analysis of that and yeah, the, how different mm -hmm. areas um, um, respond. Yeah. yeah, I think the great thing about it being global, particularly, you know, we've talked about so many trials when we've had our chats. Australia is quite, you know, isolated and relatively small. We can't get sometimes the big numbers um, of babies into trials, particularly for something that might be a rare condition. So having that global connection and I guess consensus that if globally they can see these are the top 10, imagine you know the thousands of babies that could be entered into trials and we know that more babies that can be entered yeah. it helps the trials answer the question faster and get it into practice once that happens they move on to the next next priority so yeah like it, it's really a big partnership to be able to make a really significant difference quite quickly so that the, we can change practice and, and change outcomes mm. it's very exciting 